You were so blurry. What did you, how did you not get so backlit? I put my head in front of it. That's what you need to do. My backlit? Yeah. My, like that? Yeah. There. There's like your there? face. Okay. There's your face. How's that? Your face. There's Kim my face. says face funny like that. And that's why I'm saying it now. Say she it. says, she'll be like, let me see your face. Like it's like aggressive it's, face. It's hard. It's yeah. It's like a turns New Yorky. I don't know what. It's a funny thing because she's from Alabama. Hmm. I don't know where the hard face hmm. thing comes in. I like. And when, now I'm doing it. I like when Anna says the word book. Bo- or, book. Or, or balloon. Balloon. Wait, balloon. she does a hard. Yeah, really major O's, which is actually how it's spelled. So she's correct. She is correct, but I just like the way it sounds. Yeah, balloon. book. Balloons. Or book. A good book. A book. Another a favorite is a, a sandwich. I like the oh, real distinct pronunciation cute. of the, of the, of the, what is it? A, boy. Oh, boy, God. Don't, what are you about to ask? <laughs> well, I didn't even know what you were going to ask. I, I was know. scared if I knew the answer, but consonant? I didn't know the question. A, no, it's not a consonant. It's a. Oh, what are you Lord. talking about? What are you know. trying to like say? Like dumb, dumb shakes or yeah. full effect over here today. Oh, forget yeah. it. I don't remember. Well, I could have helped Apparently you, but I just don't know what school. you... I can't recall. <laughs> I could have actually sounded like the smart one just then, but you didn't even give me a chance. What's the word? Syllables. There we go. Thank Oh, thank you, smarty <laughs> pants. Syllables. I like the double... I like how she emphasizes yeah, we're gonna the make it in life. double <laughs> syllable. Oh, sweet Joe. You know what really broke well, my heart? Last night we went out yeah. to dinner and... Um, you and I. You, yes, you and I went out to yeah. dinner, and you. I feel like you, 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 you confessed something that I think's been Ugh. eating away at you. Or it's something you can say publicly. Yeah, and oh. you said, "I feel because every you know, oh, you and Kim come is. over to dinner, and you always bring Joe. It's like, yeah, what time would the three of you like to have dinner tonight? Because I always expect Joe will be there, and so does Anna. And you finally confessed that Joe misses her." Private time with her one on one. Yeah. Well, I didn't, you know, you when you got Bugsy, like it's, you know, your new baby, it's a whole dynamic change in the house and you guys moved. It's like, well, I'm not gonna like Infiltrate put my dog's that. feelings on you your should. new life. You should. Well, I waited like a good not a year, but has it been a year? Oh, like yeah, seven it's months. been a long time. And I would because every time we bring Joe now, she like goes to the toy box, you know, grabs her toy that she's going to destroy. Sorry. Every time. I owe you guys Cousin a lot of toys. Cousin Eddie. You know, and, we call, um, you know, Joe's nickname has been Cousin Eddie for the last 10 years because whatever house she'll come into, if there's a bucket of toys, it'll just get it's demolished. Everywhere. Like Cousin yeah. Eddie from National Lampoons. He just comes in and destroys. Well, she also just put, usually just put some places and then she'll pick mm. one that she's like, I'm going to Pulls everything gut, out and then this. she decides and then she'll gut it. Yeah, like the shark the other day. Right. But uh, I don't anyway, care about the back toys. To the They're point. replaceable. What I was so not heartbroken her, Not her over. heart, though. Her heart's not replaceable. Yeah. And it broke my heart to think that, because Joe is very sensitive. Oh, my God. Very well, she sensitive. comes over now. She gets the toy, and then she just hides under, like, if we're and sitting then, on, and, on a stool, she'll just be by our feet, because she doesn't know what to do with Bugsy. And then Mo gets anxious, because she's trying to- Mo's a people pleaser. People please. Pleaser. Yeah, both And Mo the dogs. really loves Joe. She loves her. And Bugsy doesn't give anyone any wiggle room if it doesn't involve her. No. Bugsy's a very demanding dog. So, um, I mean, you can say it because you're her mom. I'm not going to. She's a pain in the ass. I love her. I'm not going to say Boy, that. is she, she's, she's a lot of, she's a lot of, she's a lot of bug. Let's just say like we, she's hysterical, well, but she's a lot. Um, so we, we came to the conclusion that you're going to bring Mo over. Yeah. Now, Anna's out of town. My house. I said this last night. Anna's out of town. But if she had heard this, she would, within like a heartbeat, grab Mo and instantly bring her over to your house to satisfy. For like a therapy healing have session. You seen, have you seen Forrest Gump? Uh, well, yeah. Who has Remember hasn't? when he gets the call about his mom being sick? When yeah. He's out in the bayou and he just jumps off Sally the boat Fields. to swim to land. To, yeah. That's what Anna <laughs> would be with Mo. <laughs> Heading over to your house. 
Yeah. It broke it's, my heart. It really I broke know. my heart. And I'm, um, I promise you, I'm going to rectify that. I would do it today, but it's gross out. The dogs don't want to be it's out. It's disgusting. cold and wet. But I mean, it's I will. pretty because it's raining. It just hailed, actually. I can't believe it didn't come over to your house. It was loud, and I looked out, and it was like salt. I think I think something happened. And the, the ceilings are a bit high, so I think I, I thought it was rain, but it was hail, huh? I mean, I don't know what happened over there. It was hail over here. <sighs> well, shit. Well, shit, Kate. We're talking about the weather. Come here, Joe. Really. Like yeah, you and I had a dinner, and it yeah. was a good dinner, and then. I pitched, let's go get some ice cream because Jenny's is right outside of where you put Okay, the I told this to Kim this morning because she went to see a concert. We've been very good with our going out for like life so lately. Sure. Well, just also seeing stuff. We've been seeing right. it's I'm proud of us. Like even when I went out, she's like, I'm going to go do this. Nice. So um, anyway, we were kind of catching up on our nights and she's like, had the dinner. It was great. Um, Kate and I went to Jenny's. Uh, by the way, when did we go? It was like 10? No, I was in bed at 10. Because um, I thought they were going to be closed. You're like, 100%, they're not going to be, they're going to be open. There's well, you for sure not closed. Like you, were, you, you thought we were pushing midnight. It was about 8.30. It felt late for ice cream. I'm like, nobody eats ice cream this late. At least because I haven't. Because we try to operate I'm, like adults. That's why you thought it was late. Reality, it was 8.30. Well, here, I had a whole thing happen to me last night, and I have you to uh -oh. thank for it. Was no, it was good. It was good. Okay. No, it was great. The, the whole Jenny situation. It's our favorite ice cream. The best ice cream in L.A. If anyone hasn't tried Jenny's, this is not a paid ad. Mm -mm. It's the most incredible ice cream. I'll happily get, take free ice cream from them if they yeah, the payment sure. for discussing them publicly. Yeah, but they have like vegan options. It, it's anyway, Very it's so free. good. They always change up flavors. Then they and taste like Fruit Loops. If oh you no! Want it in too. the summertime, like, they make this watermelon thing, and it tastes like watermelon taffy. And I'm telling you, it'll blow your mind. It blows your mind. I could like, I could have that in an IV. It's that. Yeah, good. and it's seasonal. Yeah, you're not going to get that all year. Ugh. Anyway, we. What happened was we parked. I picked you up, and we parked to go to dinner, we parked right in front of a Jenny's. Sure did. And you're like, can we get that later? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. But I wasn't sure, but I was like, that sounds great. Anyway, then it, the dinners last a while. Then we hung out in a parking lot for a while <laughs> with like the people. And then we're walking back and I think it's close. And you said, no way. We go in, it's brightly lit. There are people, a line of people. Everyone's having ice cream at 9 30 10 o'clock it's 8 30 it okay. was 8 30 i loved it i was like this is living yeah. like why do we say no to this shit or do i i say no. i'm always like eh, i should no, no. i'm gonna start eating ice cream every day i'm not gonna say every day but when i'm older way older this is for sure gonna be my thing ice cream every day because nothing makes me happier we sat. Well, first like, of all, let's say what we got. Two content children in your car. Oh, in well, you have to say what we for got. About Twenty-five minutes. We and did just a bunch savored, of taste tests. Savored our ice cream. We were like, we got the little spoons. You, what did and they you give try? You fancy little what did spoons. you try? They don't give you the cheap plastic ones. They give you oh, no, they're metal, heavy metal, long stem yeah. spoons for you to try. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, like I you tried, feel like you're in Paris. What'd you get? Well, um, What'd you try? I tried. They had a, a limited. Uh, flavor profile selection uh, related to the cosmos super moon and well, it's because of the thing berry. that's about to happen oh the eclipse the eclipse yeah oh I that's why them. i think there is oh it's very timely they really whipped that it's up a theme. Fast. sure and um well it's a little card you just make up a name well, that's true it's they already like they worked had... on the flavors and they were like name it something exactly galaxy like right yep so i tried I think there were four of them. So I tried all of those because I I was like, I don't want basic vanilla stuff. I don't want caramel. I don't want coffee or mint. I want to try something fun. And so something I tried all of those. Something out of this world. I went, yeah. And so I got that in a waffle cone. You didn't say what they were. What do they taste like? I can't like? remember the names. One tasted like- No, not like, the names, the flavors. Oh, the flavors. One tasted like um, strawberry 
cereal milk. Amazing, like and quick, it was like the heaven. No, it wasn't that. That's it wasn't that sugary grossness. It was like a, you know, when you have like a fruity cereal as a kid and you drink the milk after. It had yeah, the that. Fruit Loop one. That's what I was saying. It tastes like it didn't taste like Fruit, fruit loops. loops. though. Oh. It, it. I suppose it tasted a bit like. There was like a strawberry element to it, like okay. a strawberry honeycomb or something. Mm. It was amazing. And then I got another one, the second, because you said get two scoops. Why like get a, one? Gl- why Like a glutton. And I said, okay, well, I'll, no, do, it I'll gets, do two scoops. You don't scoops. have to decide. It doesn't come, everything doesn't come down to one answer. It's like you get two. But I like that. Two. I was like, let's, let's go bigger. Let's go big. Or, also, the combination can be great. Precisely. So then the second one I got was orange. It was an orange colored, but it wasn't orange. It had like a passion fruit vibe in it, which mm. I will always go towards. I mean, nothing passion better. passion fruit and me. Are, you click. We click. So um, those two things on a beautiful waffle cone. Oh, you had a whole decision-making thing with the lady about like, what, kind, what of cone? kind of cone. She's like, well, I have this cone and this cone and this cone. I was like, well, what do you, one do you like? I like this. Great. I'll take that. You got the waffle. Oh, yeah, I did. And then you had, what'd you pick in the end? I told you. I just told you. Oh, that's what you picked. Not, yeah, I don't oh, so the exact inside names. of what you tried, you picked two of those. Correct. Because Kim asked me immediately, what would Kate get? And I was like, they were sort of I got the fruity cosmic and, flavors, Kim. They were fruity and Super creamy moon, looking. Fruity and creamy. What did you have? And then you like the one below, the one inside the cone more than I like the one the that one, was on top. Yeah, I like the cereal milk one a little bit more than the passion fruit one on top. But you know what? They complimented. That's why you get two. Because I tell you, you walk you away. Have, you had chocolate, a dark I always chocolate. Go cho- I always have to get a dark chocolate. But what was the... Com- My mom's favorite th- thing growing up, which is where I think I got this, was she would get at Baskin Robbins, of course, because we're mm. from Bellevue, Nebraska. But we would go, she'd get dark chocolate and then orange sherbet. Oh. That's a word I should... Sherbet. There's sherbet. the R's. Sherbet. sherbet. Um, anyway, I like the combo of a dark chocolate and a fruit. So what I got was dark fruit? chocolate. They had milk chocolate and they had Texas sheet cake vegan. I went for straight up dark chocolate. Wow. And then mine was in a cup. And then I got this raspberry. It was like raspberry, blackberry, mm. blueberry, sorbet. Was it good? Kate, we get in the car. I'm so excited we made this decision. And I think you and I sat there for what, 25 minutes? Barely spoke. Barely, but somebody would, would say something every once in a while and we would just stare out the front window. <laughs> yes, it's like 45 degrees bliss. out last night. I didn't care. And we both and talked wa- about- How people are walking around in shorts and t-shirts like they're no, in Canada. I know they were, but we both talked about the genius of the person who invented ice cream. Oh, that was my stoner moment. I said, yeah. who invented ice cream? I We really should find this out. Should I look this up? Well, maybe Arlen like I can should look, look it up because she's well, I probably had, bored listening to us. But well, we, I asked the question, who invented ice cream? I'm going to ask Not right only now. who invented ice cream, but who called it ice cream? Because there's a different- Well, you went down that, yeah. You could you call were, it a number of different things. You can call it frosty milk or ice milk or- Or sweet, like you could think of all these different variations, but someone said, no, the word ice and the word cream go together really, really well. And then I was thinking about the, you know, the pilgrim way back when who probably sat there and churned the ice cream and said, I think I just made a delicious treat. Let me share it with my, my, my friends. Okay. Well, it comes down to the origin of this. Not one single person gets credit for inventing ice cream because Mm. there's so many you know, cultures and sure. centuries of these, like. But where was the first one? What it, they part can't of the world? say. They can't say. Who named it ice cream then? It's. Is it Italy? Is it China? You said Italy because of gelato, um, and that makes well, sense. Well. Okay, the ancient Chinese planted the first seeds of modern day ice cream. Okay. So China, China. but it was the Italians who nurtured it into what we know ice cream to be today. Who came, so, who called it ice cream? Oh, you're really, now, see, now you want to know details. What person said, let's, who, let's, let's trademark ice cream. Who, who came up with that? I don't think they had trademarking back then. Because it, in, in, in Italy, it's a gelato. 
Does gel- is hey, gelato Italian for, my, for ice cream? No. Uh, American colonists. They made up ice cream? Yeah. They of use course. the term ice cream. Um, what? What does it say? Oh, it came from iced with a D, cream. Iced cream? Mm-hmm. But, you know, we get lazy as time goes by. Drop the D. Just call yeah. ice. Do you know that I made Madonna, real true story, homemade ice cream? I think I did. But tell me again. I churned it in a... In a, um, my ex girlfriend and I went to her house a billion years ago. Who's your ex girlfriend? Put it in context. Hey, what it, it was Katie Lang. Thank you. Just put it in context at the scene. I don't know. We're talking the Do 90s. To, mm, no one's yep. asking you to read yeah, your diary from that time. It's just, you know, All what right. year is this? I don't know. It was during the epic truth or dare era, is what I'm thinking. There were, well, or a little after, I should say. No, because. No, there was Ray of Light, was sort of came around. In that, that came out in ninety eight. Well, that was at Williams. That was that part of out. it. I see. Okay, okay. all right. So anyway, anyway, thank you. And I was like full of vegan, and we thought, well, what can we bring for for this lunch today or barbecue, whatever situation? And I was like, let's make ice cream. We got one of those old timey ice cream makers that you this these kind Snoopy kinds and brought the like the Snoopy one like the one from the seventies like where you have to like get get the salt ah uh, right 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 and we got the all the accoutrements that you make this chocolate and it was chocolate and we went there and I remember sitting on the back stairs and. Looking back, it must have been the most ridiculous thing ever, but Why? there I was, and I churned it for however long it took, which was forever and a day. I think Katie helped me. We like we traded off or something, and then I was so proud of it, and then after lunch, we all scooped it out, and she was like, this tastes like shit. <laughs> She was like, this looks like shit. It tastes like shit. But you know what? I thought it was really good. Yeah, fuck you, Madonna. Well, make your own ice cream. I mean, I'm sure she could have a lot of people make her ice cream if she wanted to. Alicia, I have questions. I know. Go ahead. <laughs> so Why? you're telling me. Why? You get invited to like a barbecue at Madonna's house and you need to bring something. And you're like. I'm not just going to bring ice cream. Let's get an ice cream maker. And then you sit at her house and churn ice cream on the stairs. I did. I, I'll tell you why. Like, <clears throat> why show up with macaroni salad when you can do something really fun? Because, <laughs> like, you could, like, there weren't any vegan chocolate, uh, vegan ice cream places at the time. So you it mean was vegan like, ice cream? Yeah. Mm, that's why I she see. was like. That's why, why bring she was anything like anything to that kind of barbecue. Guys, where's your Honestly, creativity? Honestly, if I was that if I if I had that kind of money, I'd be like, Who? just come over for me. I wouldn't say bring something. I'd say just show up. I don't nobody said bring something. It wasn't a potluck. Okay, okay. Okay. That, well, you I thought it was, it was like, I thought like it was a potluck. I was envisioning no, Madonna no, and she was like, her what are you guys going to bring showing today? Up with, you know, corn and potato salad. <laughs> coleslaw was, like an email thread like who's yeah, bringing there's an what email chain no. from madonna's barbecue all right who's in charge of dessert oh my god okay thank I'm you like, i just you no. gotta be a little no clear it was like a fun idea that i came up with <laughs> i thought that sort of flopped but like then again did it i did don't know did anyone else like it or was it just you three i mean we it? all ate it Everyone probably had like really bad gas on the way home. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Kate. All I know is I made it. I was proud of it. I um I speaking of homemade ice cream. Yeah. Um, you know who makes very good homemade ice cream? Rose Trochet. 
I saw Rose Trochet last weekend and yeah. she had brought over some uh, homemade ice cream. See, this is this is she a thing made, people do. Oh my God. It is I told her, I was like, you should be selling this. It's so good. One was a grapefruit mezcal. Oh wow. Oh my God. It was delicious. Wow. And another one was this um uh, it was a it was a chocolate. Wait, like there was there was tequila like a, a, in it. Mescal. It was like infused yeah, with that's... a little bit of mescal, but it, so it wasn't super boozy. But you know, mescal and grapefruit is such a beautiful combination. Um, okay, and it was it was like an icy. It was so good. Then she had this like chocolate one, but it was with like it tasted like it was like fresh cacao, not like the sugary stuff. And then she made another one that tasted like an orange Julius. Ugh, you had me at that. Oh, Now I want some. I thought of you. I was like, oh, you know who would like this? I bet well, you did. Well, she's coming over for dinner at the end of the month, so you should be there. Okay, great. Um, And uh, you can experience the ice cream. Sounds fan-fucking-tastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. Well, now I'm uh, like... I've given myself full permission to, I mean, I did do it with, I actually, this already started before you and Jenny's. Oh, that's right. Remember you had I had Marfa the, ice cream. I had uh, too many. I was holding three pints in my lap <laughs> with my niece. Ioni's an ice cream head. I am deep down and I stop myself. So we go to this beautiful little, um, little market called the get go and they have all these fancy, like, artisanal ice cream mm. choices. And we get one, fl- we get, sorry, we each get to pick a flavor. We we get spoons. We drive to the no, gas station to get some spoons. spoons. Oh, yeah, and we had okay. pints while we were driving around. We each had a pint. We would, like, swap flavors. And then she wasn't that happy. She got a mango something, and she wasn't that happy. It tasted a little too real, like real mango. Mm. <laughs> we wanted more. So we drove back. We got a replacement flavor. Well, by the way, never throwing away the mango. We get a replacement flavor. So now we have three flavors. And I'm and then we start shopping. And I'm holding, we're holding the ice cream while we shop. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you should get that in a size, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Holding the pints, walking around like a like a crazy person. And this is what I'm saying. Like when you tapped into it last night, you're tapping into a like an ice cream, like a demon that wants to be let oh, loose. for you? Yeah. Like it's a part of me that I have yeah, to like hide spot. away. That was your weak spot. Yeah. And whenever when whenever anyone's flipping about it, like, yeah, let's get three pints. I'm like, yeah, totally. Everyone's or you're like, spot, yeah. yeah, let's get Jenny's yeah. at 10 p.m. I'm like, yeah. But somebody has to, I Reel can't let in? it loose. No, I can't let it loose. I can't let, it's like a horror movie. If I let this side of me out, it doesn't, it, I can't put it away. That's how much I love it. Well, I can't help you there. I'm like you an got, addict. You, you, need to, you need to exercise some self-control. I do, usually. It's a lifelong struggle. I get it. That's how I feel about French fries. We went, right, out, to dinner for Anna's, that- we went out to dinner for Anna's birthday. And I, and I was like, and I had to work the next day and I was like, fuck, I was like, I want to get all these things and I can't. And I was like, all right, I'll get this. And I just want to eat the French fries. And what do you know? The fries show up and who's dive bombing the French fries the second yeah, they land. You also did hey. it with the bread. You had a bread oh, and, thing. Oh, and, oh, and last night, you bread. got, can I get, did you come bread come with that? I love you have bread. A bread thing. I love bread. <laughs> I love good bread. And we're, everyone's allergic to it in this town, but I fucking love it. I don't care about bread. You don't love a good piece of warm bread. I could take. I like on. it. I'll enjoy it. I could take it or leave it. Oh shit! Nothing makes me happier. Yeah, it's comforting well, to me. So those are my weak spots. So I relate with your ice cream. Did you finish all three plates last night? Because I forgot to look. Because you, you got this salad and it was like bigger than your head. It and was then one of your the best salads course. I've ever had of my life. It was so beautifully constructed with all the right amount of crunch and the right amount of um, uh, vegetable flavors, just the right amount of snap peas. You it love was, a snappy, crunchy salad. I love a snappy crackle pop uh, salad. Great lemon 
dressing, not too acidic, but not too creamy, just in Ugh. that right little spot. Really walked spot. the line. Damn, it was good. And it was bigger than my head. I know. I saw it. And yeah, everyone like at the table warned you because they had been there. They were like, it's a big salad. Wasn't it called like big ass salad? It's called good ass salad. And oh, good. Okay. It was, well, it was proper marketing. Yeah. Yeah. They war they warned you of the size. You were like, no problem. And they were, yeah. they weren't kidding. Nope. But I forgot to look over at the end because I split, I split my meal with Liz. Yes. You had a We shared fish. a salad and shared a fish. Yeah. Was your salad good? It was amazing. The food was okay. amazing. But I forgot to look back there. over at the end because once I saw all your food come out, I was like, damn, Kate was hungry. Did you finish it all? You got like three tostadas no, on the a tos plate? No, no, it was an appetizer. And on the oh, plate okay. came three little baby tostadas and they were really good. That restaurant's Yeah, it was the bomb. Really good. Are I people saying the bomb? Whatever. I did. You're a little dated, but it's okay. You're forgiven. It's okay. Whatever. The bomb. Remember when uh, the, the word bomb. the de remember when decent was used as a term of uh, excitement and approval? Oh, that's decent. No, no I really never. That wasn't myself. for me. Really? Oh, in the uh -huh. early nineties, instead of saying "Oh, that's awesome" or "I love that," oh, decent. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm, but I've never heard you talk like that. I can't even was imagine it an you East doing Coast that. thing, maybe. But would you go like, ah, It before? was just like, you know, every generation has their slang. That was our slang. Decent. I feel like you turned into a cartoon word. character when you what do it. a dumb word to... to Why? It's not the worst thought problem. about it. Because decent's like, it's decent. Oh, that's true. Like, it's, eh. That's how we mostly use it. Yeah, Remember decent. when you didn't know what a syllable was at the top of this podcast? Sure. Okay. Thanks for your, your English lesson. I appreciate hey, the reminder. I'm here for you. Um, so we need to tell everyone when we're going on a break. Yeah, we are. We're going to take spring break. We've never done it before, but we, we're we going earned, dark. We earned it. Yeah. Like actually get, we're going to disappear. We're going to go dark because you know what? We realize people get annoyed with reruns. I get annoyed with reruns on the podcast I listen to. It frustrates me when I see a new episode pop up, but it's a repeat from, but from reruns before. can be great. Like the golden girls yeah, any yeah, day, that's all great. day long. Sh sure. Well, great. But you know, for a podcast, it's just, it's okay. different. And um, we just decided we're going to go dark and then we're going to come back hot. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, Careful what? with your words. We're going to cut. What are you? We're right, going fine. dark. We're, gonna, we're coming back hot. We're coming back very cold. Um, don't expect much. We're going to be subpar. Would you, do you prefer that? Should we're going to be promise? decent. We'll be decent. I think... No, I just got, when you say coming back hot, I was like, oh God, because then I felt like we had to spend the whole month that we get to take a break and we had to plan how to come in hot. It's a podcast, Leisha. Huh? It's a podcast. What do you mean? You just sit at a mic and you, and you shoot the shit. It's not a Saturday Night Live episode. It's okay. I don't know which, wh what door are you walking in here? I what Where are you coming from? It's a you, lot of pressure you just put on yourself when I said you we're You just built back it hot. up and now you're taking it down. We're coming back fresh. We're coming back hot. We're going to have new oh content. Boy. We're taking out, we're taking the first break we've ever taken since 2020. That doesn't involve- We're fresh quick, and hot. We're that like, doesn't include a national holiday like Christmas. <clears throat> oh, I'm not promising a restructuring. I didn't use those words. Yeah, we're going to basically disappear. Yeah, we're going to have a, break. a spring break. Banged my, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. We're taking a break. We'll see you in about, I don't know. When are we going to see you again? We'll see you in a bit. In a bit. We'll see you in a bit. We're coming back hot. But write in and with fresh. questions. Write in with questions. Send messages. We'll yeah, go ahead. Are we when we're back. You're yeah. collecting the whole time. Yeah. So Collector. write in with your questions and advice and everything, and we'll go through. And if your question doesn't get asked, it's because it's been asked before. Um, but keep writing. And we're going to do, um, in the interim, we'll pop on and do like Instagram lives and Q&As and stuff like that when we're together. Maybe next week when Banjo and Mo go on a date. Um, I'm sure house. everyone's on the edge of their seat. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's aching to see us uh, do an AMA. But I'm just saying, just to yeah, keep it fresh mm -hmm. Okay. until we return. See you later. Bye.